And has Hampton Roads lost its bargaining chip on toll relief now that the Northern Virginia Arena proposal is dead? Local lawmakers were hoping to strike a deal to exchange one for the other. So where do we stand on lowering the cost across the downtown and midtown tunnels? Andy Fox is on toll patrol for us tonight. The arena deal is dead. Governor Yunkin wanted it and had voiced support for $322 million in toll relief. The arena is dead. What happens with toll relief? Speaker Scott, not so sure. As we speak today, he's vetoed 121 bills. He's vetoed more bills in three years than any governor has done in four years. I can tell you it looks like payback. And so this is what payback looks like, and I expect him to continue to veto bills. Governor Yunkin has a line item veto for all things in the budget, including the $92 million of toll relief in Portsmouth and Norfolk. We asked Scott about possible paybacks. He could do the line item for the $92 million for toll relief, couldn't he, sir? He sure could. Do you he think sure he's could. going to because of the arena? I think it's a very strong possibility. I think it's a very strong possibility that he will retaliate in that way. In response to the arena deal failure, Yunkin blamed personal and political agendas, drove away a deal with no upfront general fund money and no tax increases that created tens of thousands of new jobs and billions in revenue for Virginia. I think he is so upset. If you read his press release, he is so angry. It looked like a uh, temper tantrum. And so I would not be surprised to see him uh, retaliate that way. Speaker Scott thinks Governor Yunkin is so upset about the arena. And I fully expect him to do something else, which has never been done. I fully expect him to veto the entire budget, and that's never been done. And what would that mean? I think it will impact our credit rating. It will impact our bond rating. It will cost Virginians money because it will make the cost of debt higher. The General Assembly veto session is April 17th. Whatever the differences, the new budget year begins July 1st. What happens? Stay tuned. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.